Welcome back to King's Custom Garage. In this video, I want to get the bumper splash shield, bumper valence for the front took care of, and I'm going to probably work on the grill, and we're going to finish up the roll pan area on the Alright guys, I want to start off, I've done a little bit of work on this bumper valence splash shield. Um, I don't know, I don't know how much repair work I'm going to do on it. It's it's pretty rough. I did go through. I straightened out what I could straighten out. Uh, you know, if I could use a, a hammer and a, a, a body block or something like that on it, I did. Uh, it's it's so bowed and tweaked and everything. I don't know. I don't know. You can tell right here. Let me go to this side. You can see it's high on this side, low on this side. It's got a big swoop there. It's the same over here, but the opposite. This is high and this is low. So I've tried tweaking it. I've tried bending and prying, and, and I've worked all the, as far as the, the bad spots that, that was dented or this whole area was nothing but a big glob of Bondo. Uh, it was pretty thick too. I knocked all that off, chipped all it away, and beat all that out as best as I could. So I don't know. I don't know how much work I'm actually going to do to it. I think what I'm just going to do is I'm going to get it to where I can mount it on the truck, and I may, I may just run this one like it is for now because. It'll be a while before I do the extensive body work to, to even paint it. So we may just run this one for now, and then I'll buy a new one later down the road and replace it with a new one because every end is, is chewed up. The whole, the bottom, it's missing a section there. This had a bunch of Bondo in it there, missing a chunk there. That area there is really messed up. That one is also. This area is missing quite a bit. There's supposed to be another brace kicking down to there. This end is, is really rough. Um, I knocked on that corner quite a bit. I ended up with just a couple small holes. But, I mean, bo both end caps are really, really rough. And, and keep in mind, they had been welded on the truck previous, so I had to cut them off. So that didn't help none either. This whole lower lip, um, it, was, it was really bad, and I know it's nowhere near where it should be. Uh, I think it needs to come out quite a bit more. Um, so I just, I really don't know that I want to put the time and effort into that thing as bad as it really is. Um, there's not a section on it that I won't have to do something to. Uh, I mean, the front panel and this, the, the front section, you know, this area is pretty solid. And then that top, this top area is pretty solid. Around the uh, around the turn signal areas is is pretty rough. That one's probably worse than the other side. It's still got screws and parts of the old brackets and all that. Um, those that that one's really messed up. This one is I. Uh, I done the best I could to get it back where it needs to be. It's still cracked and split. I haven't done no welding or anything like that. I'm just trying to, I'm just looking to see. I just don't think it's worth putting that much work into. Like I, I, I'd have to completely rework that whole piece just to use it. And I don't know that I want to do that. That's a lot of work right there in itself just in that one piece and then these so these are the openings for your bumper brackets to come out or your frame uh, the ends of your frame to stick out for your bumper to bolt onto 
and my thought is I'm probably not going to run a front bumper, so those are probably going to get shaved, you know, covered in with a, a piece of sheet metal anyways, which I'm fine with, but these areas around here are so rough, and then there's an extra support piece all the way around the back side for those and everything. I don't know that I want to mess with it. I really don't. Um, I beat this with a hammer and dolly as best as I can, but with this little extra piece that goes around these bumper bracket openings, it's hard to get in here and knock all this out like it should be because that, that other piece is in the way on both sides. This one's, it, it's real wavy. Uh, they both are. This one, this one was a lot worse than that side, but I didn't even know all this was Bondo. It looked fine, and then I bend it, I, I uh, flipped it over and started knocking the dents out, and I started beating on dents that I didn't even know were there, and I had to come back and chisel a bunch of that off of there and, and need to come back and take it off farther. I think there's a little dent right here that could be knocked out. But I'm not going to go for perfect on that piece. I'm not. I would spend days upon days upon days just doing that one piece with, you know, the, the cutting out the bad and welding in new, grinding it all down. I'm not even going to mess with it. I'm going to get that to where we can bolt it on the truck. Um, it may not even be completely bolted up. It should bolt to each fender. And then the headlight support bucket, bucket supports that goes behind the grill, it bolts to that, like the core support, that's what it bolts to. Um, when I got the truck, it was only bolted to the fenders, but down there across the bottom lip, it bolts there, it bolts there, and then to each fender. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna see what I can get to line up and if I can get some holes to line up and it'll sit in there right, I'm going to bolt it in for now. Um, I do want to grab a grinder and I'm going to do a little bit of work on these ends just to clean them up, flatten them out with a hammer and dolly uh, and get them to where when we put it up there, all this jagged stuff's not here. Uh, I already took care of the fenders. When I done the fenders and fixed everything on the fenders, those was two areas that I had to deal with. Both of them are good. They still got the whole mounting holes and all that. So I'm going to set you up on the tripod, and I'm going to see what I can't do uh, cleaning this thing up and getting it ready to put it on the truck. The next day, uh, as you've seen, we, we got the front uh, grill and the little bumper splash shield balance uh, put back on. And we set the hood on, 
and I started uh, cleaning up that front edge. Uh, one of my buddies was over, and he was helping me out a little bit. Um, but I'll show you what we got, and I think we're going to go ahead and try and get that little front edge on the hood took care of. It's it's really rough. It's a lot worse than what I thought it was. But they had, I've already cleaned it up quite a bit, but this whole inner channel behind this was completely packed. So I went through there, ground down what I could to get, you know, get it open and then just chipped it down a little at a time. I've got the majority of it cleaned down on both sides. Um, and then I've marked out, I'm just gonna try and cut cut the bat out um, the bottom sides not as bad so I'm gonna I'm gonna see how hard it'll be to maybe do you know all in one piece like the top and the bottom the little bottom section with the the roll where it rolls under um, and then I've got the jack under the front end I pulled the bolts back out of the core support and, and all that off the front end because this this is always stuck past a little bit right here. And it even done it on the old frame before I put it on this Ranger frame. So I was just trying to make sure, you know, I don't know if something's tweaked with this fender and it's setting back a little farther than it should or what. Um, they had this whole front lip built up thick with Bondo. Like they, all of this was covered with Bondo and it's still pretty thick right here um, so I don't really know what's going on right there um, what I may end up doing is uh, I think I'm gonna get this hood took care of and then once that's took care of I may try to mess with getting this fender I feel like if the fender would come forward just a little bit, it would line up, but I don't know that that's possible. Um, but I may try to just get the fender to pull forward a little bit so it'll line up and, and sit right for that body gap. Um, if not, I may just come back in here and cut this eyebrow section out and redo that little eyebrow section. That may be what I do. Um, and then I realized while I was chipping away at this, there's two little rust holes right there. So I don't know that I'll cut that out. I may hit it with a flap disc and clean it up real good and just poke around it, see if there's any more that's gonna come through right there. Um, and if I find any more, I may cut it out, but I might just try to take and weld those couple of holes up and grind them down. Uh, they're real small. Um, and then I haven't 100% decided yet but those headlight bucket on both sides is really bad on this grill and it's going to be a, a headache to remake those um, so i may look at just buying two new headlight buckets and cut these out drill out the spot welds or grind down the spot welds take those off and put two new ones on because the grill itself is is okay it's just the headlight bucket retaining spots um let's see that one's all this one's real bad the whole bottom section's missing so i don't know i may look at just getting a whole new grill or just new headlight buckets so same as that lower valance section. I'm not gonna worry about doing any sheet metal work on them right now. Uh, I'm just gonna use them for time being. And then if we ever get to the point that, you know, I haven't made a decision and we need them to get the headlights in and, and everything, uh, we'll readdress it then. Maybe by that point, I'll have my mind made up if I wanna just order some buckets and fix this one or just order a whole new grill or what. Um, but I think I'm going to try and go ahead and get those two little areas cut out and uh, maybe see if I can't get me a, a couple little filler panels made. Um, what, I'm, what I'm really wanting to do, I just don't know. I want to make sure this front roll lip is, is exactly where it needs to be. So... Uh, and it, it's got a curve this way and this way. 
So that's going to be the worst part is just getting that worked to where it'll fit right. So my, my reason behind maybe doing it in two pieces is um, I don't have a shrinker stretcher. So to get the bows and the bends that I need, it may be just easier to do a top piece and then come back in and do a bottom piece and weld that front lip and grind it all smooth. That may be my best bet. Um, so we're going to look and see what we can do. I'm going to get it all cut out. And, and we'll get it figured out.
Okay, so we've got both of those took care of. I think they look really good considering. So what I've done is I've left them just a little long, both sides. Both sides I left long. And what I'm gonna do, I think, is I'm gonna take the hood off the truck, flip it upside down, and then I'm just gonna run my filler piece to finish off the bottom side. I'll cut it out good and uh, I'll take a good flat edge and mark from here straight over to here so my line is good on both. I'll do that with a straight edge. And I don't know, I may, I may put my piece behind before I cut and then weld this outer edge after I cut it and then just grind that rolled edge right there, just grind that into it. Um, but I think they look really good um, being that they were really, really bad. So that there's a like a, su a support brace that goes behind all of that. I don't know if you've seen it or not, but it was pretty rusted down through there. So instead of cutting all that out to replace what needed to be replaced in that, I cleaned it up real good with a wire brush and sprayed it with some sealer. Later on down the road, if we end up, you know, actually going through with a nice paint job and, and, and all that, we'll readdress that or something. Uh, I'm not worried about it right now. I'm not going to put all that time into that little support brace back there um, and us decide to leave it like a patina style because uh, I'm not really concerned with it. I mean... I, I know I'm not going to get every speck of rust off of this truck. So, but we're going to take care of what we can kind of easily. <sighs> Sorry, excuse me. That grinding dust gets to me. So I did come through and my bare metal spots that was down in here. I went ahead and sprayed those with some sealer. Uh, ju just to get them covered uh, all of the bare metal spots will end up getting covered um, but I just wanted to go ahead while I had the can and I sprayed a couple of those areas those welds weren't bad and keep in mind it'll get a, a skim coat of bondo or plastic filler this edge is still not identical like it, it doesn't match up like it should so uh, we'll, we'll figure this out later i think my best bet with that is going to be maybe get the hood mounted where it's going to sit and then i'm going to mess with this fender a little bit more i, I just wonder if i can't uh, maybe maybe work it to come forward a little bit. I almost feel like if the whole fender would come forward, it would be fine. And what I'm wondering is, is where we had to fix this fender down in here where it bolts, if that hole's just not exact. So maybe the fender does need to come forward just a tad bit more. Um, which, and I will say, the holes down the side there that go into the cab and uh, you run bolts from up under the dash, it has a bolt, one of those bolts it has in it. So I would think it would be lined up. But these fenders were so messed up and tweaked and warped that anything's possible. So we'll take care of that later. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not concerned with body gaps right now. Uh, we're, we're a ways away from having to worry about body gaps. So, um but yeah, I wanted to cut you back on and show you how those turned out. Um, I just didn't, I didn't want to have to go through all that and then my piece be too short or something. So that's why I left them a little long. And then I'll come back with a frame and square, some type of, of nice flat uh, yeah, straight edge. And I'll, I'll just butt it up and get it to where it needs to be on each end run me a line and then I'll know that's kind of where it needs to be cut and then we'll weld that bottom piece. I don't think that bottom piece is going to be very wide, maybe maybe a half inch it, 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 and 
or less. Uh, this side might be a little bit more. No, it's probably about the same. Some of it may not even need anything put in it. It might just need to be trimmed and welded. <clears throat> so I think it's coming together. I think it looks really good. That front area on the hood being rusted, it just looked all funky when it was up there. And you could tell that it was busted Bondo. So that being took care of. It makes me feel better only because that was for the most part the worst of the hood now we'll take care see you can see where that little warp spot is there where it's kind of darker and then this little spot here so those will be the other two spots that we need to take care of on the hood that I know of for sure um, and more than likely what I'll do is when we when I take the hood off and flip it over to do these I'll go ahead and take care of those while it's off the truck um, I don't know that I'll do that tonight I may call it a night it's already getting pretty late and uh, those two little pieces just getting them trimmed out and cleaned up and welded in so taking my time to not warp and overheat um, it took a little longer than I thought it would um, I've probably got I'd say a good three or four hours just in those two little pieces, you know, letting letting the heat cool down and, and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Step back and get a good look at it. It's looking better. Looking real good, I think. Um, so I think I'm going to call it a night. And uh, we'll see everybody in the morning.
ended up getting that done. It's with the holidays and everything. I had hoped to already have this video out, but it's just a couple days past Christmas, and I just haven't had the extra time to uh, finish this one up. But I got done what we was working on with the front lip on that hood. Uh, and I know at the beginning of this video, I'd said we was going to work on the valance and the grill and the rear roll pan area. But I changed direction. Instead of doing the roll pan, I went ahead and wanted to fix this hood. Uh, and also, while I was working on this and had it on the table, I haven't worked these two little kink spots out yet. That one on that side is not terrible on the driver's side, but this one needs some work. But there's a center brace that runs from side to side right in here or so. Yeah, right in here, right under this crease. And both sides of that center bar, the, the welds that held them on the bottom lip here had come off. So this hood was actually flexed outwards on both sides more than it should have been, and it wasn't fitting right. It, it wasn't sitting up against the cowl very well. It was kind of spaced out. You could stick your finger in on both sides. Um, so I got that fixed. I had to do a little bit of persuasion to get it pulled back together and get those where they needed to sit and weld it in. Um, I, I didn't get that on video. Uh, I just went ahead and, and done it. I wasn't even looking for it, and I walked by the hood and seen it. Um, so one of my buddies was over, Joven, the the guy that sanded down the front to begin with. You'll see him in videos from time to time. Um, but he helped me get that took care of uh, and everything, and I got the hood set back on. And this, I'm able to pull a lot of this out. So I think where, where I had to mess with that, inner lip on that fender that area where it rolls back was really bad and i'm thinking maybe that's just not bent and has the might not have the right arch to it so it's not letting this fender set forward where it should if i if i hold the hood back and i pull the fender i can get it to line up same with this side messing with that side this side don't want to set right but it sits flush just like it should there's no gap the hood fits the cowl very well now. This side was really bad. You could probably fit two fingers in before. Um, now I know this gap here is messed up. The fender's not bolted to the cowl yet. It's only got one in it to hold it. So uh, I'm not concerned with that. I did end up having to lower uh, where I had my mounts for my uh radiator support uh i ended up having to drop those holes just a little bit uh and and i knew that once i got everything on where it was part of the gap at the back was because the front end was a little too high and it needed to come down uh, and once i lowered that it took care of a lot of the gap and then i fixed that brace and it pulled the hood back in on the sides where it should have been so the hood other than there's a, there's a dent right here and this center body line has something going on i don't know if somebody maybe stood on the hood and it creased it or started to crease it but the dent here that little spot there and then the where it's warped or it's got that crack in it right here uh, i still got to work on those but other than those three little areas the hood's good uh, that bottom, there wasn't a big piece that I had to go back in on that bottom side, but much, much better. I apologize for the sinus and congestion. I've been sick for probably the last four days, so I'm just now starting to get over it. I think it looks good. Um, next video, I think I'm going to change it up a little bit. I've got a, I've got a side job coming in, um, and I don't necessarily have to film it, but um, I don't see why not. That's what the channel is, and I'm going to do my best to film anything and everything we do. 
Um, but I think I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna. I'm at a good little stopping point. Um, when we pick back up next, I'm not sure where we'll where we'll start. I do know that I've figured out the the drip rail. We're gonna shave the drip rail, so the video on it's coming soon, and I will get the roll pan done. I know I've talked about it in a couple videos. Um, I'm still thinking about it, and that's the only reason I haven't really jumped on it. Um, I wanted. I'm thinking about doing something maybe just a little bit different with the with the roll pan, a little bit extra fab work on it. Um, just to change the look. So I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do with that. And that's why I haven't just jumped on it and went ahead and knocked it out. Um, but I do know that the video on the uh, drip rail will be coming soon. Um, we're just going to go ahead and shave it. And then uh, I'm not sure what else. Everything's starting to look a lot better, I believe. Like I know... You know, each body panel still has its own problems, but as it stands right now, we're not going for perfect. I'm not even going to worry about prepping for a nice paint job. We've still got the rust to deal with on the bottoms of the doors, the rear cab corners. I've got to readdress the front cab corners where the arch isn't correct for the fender. Uh, the drip rail and there's the little section of rust under that window lip right there I'll do it when we do the drip rail and then that's just the body uh, I think that th those items that I just listed uh, will take care of the majority of the rust that's left to deal with but that does leave the whole floor issue to take care of um, but I don't want to do the floor once again until I've decided on what engine and trans i'm going to use for it i just i haven't made my mind up yet um if i find something and run across something then that'll be it but once i make my decision and i get something then i know for sure that's what i'm going to use so i think i'm going to leave this one right here uh i i feel like i didn't get super uh a whole bunch accomplished in this video but I've got a little bit more time in the hood than what I thought I was going to have. And it being the holiday weekends, uh, I'm just going to go, or the holiday weeks, I'm going to go ahead and call this a video um, and get to work on this next one. I appreciate everybody watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe.